Welcome to another video for the artistically interested. Hold on to your paintbrushes as we compose an illustration with consideration to the golden ratio. Yes, maths. Maths that your eighth grade teacher said you would need later in life. Oh, but you forgot about the golden ratio? That's fine. It's one to 1.61. It shows up in all kinds of places and is one that humans tend to find appealing and nature finds efficient. To dig deeper into the maths, I recommend the number file videos on the number phi and related topics. So you might be thinking, I'm an artist, how does this apply to me? The answer is in the work of the Italian mathematician called Fibonacci. Very simply, he explored a sequence of numbers using phi that when arranged like this became known as a golden rectangle. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the previous two. The units lay out like this. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. Sound familiar? Like the rule of thirds you may be familiar with, areas of interest are placed at the intersections of the grid, but the golden rectangle gives us a slightly more natural rhythm to follow as we compose our illustration. Here we have my friend on a summer outing. She's a bold one. I thought it would be fun to paint this picture for the ripples in the water and the contrast of warm and cool areas. If I lay my golden rectangle over this photo, we can already see how this image is dividing up nicely. The girl's figure and shadow create a strong vertical right on one of our grid lines. Also, the division between the water and rocks lines up nicely with the major horizontal. What about this section on the right side? Does it have a purpose? Hmm, no, so we'll just crop that out. My paper is more like the rectangle anyway. Another idea that the golden ratio gives us is movement. This can help reveal pathways for the eye to follow around the illustration. Let's look at the options. The horizon line is prominent and divides the upper section into our ratio again. There is also this diagonal that divides the picture nicely, and this secondary diagonal. The ripples in the water create a strong elliptical shape, but I was initially drawn to the warm and cool areas, so let's simplify and call this whole block cool. As well as this area above can be cool, and this sunny area will be warm and balance out the image with a warm area down here. Now that we have considered the golden ratio in planning out a composition, we can take our guidelines and use them as framework for the illustration on the page. Having areas of focus correspond with the rectangle grid and looking for other lines or landmarks that harmonize with the movement of the golden spiral will help direct the eye through the illustration. As the artwork is created, the rules we chose by simplifying the pathways will keep us on track for what kinds of marks to make and where, and guide us in color mixing when it comes time as well. And hopefully, all of this brain work leads to a successful illustration. There is a full speed paint of this illustration, so please like, subscribe, and check out my other creative adventures. I'm Hannah Joy, and this has been Hannah Joy Paints. I'll see you next time.